Alright there guys, it's Lazy Beast here, and today we're going to talk about delves, the good and the bad. Now, delves are of course one of the newest content features to come to the game with The War Within, alongside things like the Hero Talents, and we've had our hands on delves for around a month at this point. Delves have seen many changes over this time, and we'll take a look at that roller coaster shortly, but I wanted to discuss in this video all things delves and how their addition to the game has changed things up. So Delves had a pretty relaxed, rather good start initially, so Early Access did give us access to Delves, and Preseason only enabled us to have access to Tier 3 Delves. Now this gave us a taste of what they were going to be like, whilst giving people plenty of time to prepare for the season, so the overall initial start was pretty chill, quite enjoyed it personally. So what are some of the good things about Delves? Now the gearing up aspect of it and the weekly vault, so the PvP tier in the vault of course got replaced by the Delves tier, which is, in my opinion, for both PvP and PvE players alike. The fact that you can get perfectly great gear from the Delves themselves and the Wheatley Vault from Delves is brilliant, so you don't feel like you need to either raid or do high-end Mythic Plus keys. So, for example, if you have a week where you're very busy in real life, you can just do a couple of Delves and still get some decent loot and a piece of gear from the Vault at the end of the week. Which leads us nicely onto some other positives from the Delves, and one of those being the fact that they respect your time. They don't take that long to complete, and also they are technically pausable content. If somebody comes to the front door, you can leave your computer for a minute, just get in a little safe spot, and you're perfectly fine, you're not depleting a key, you're not annoying anybody else, you can do them in your own time. And this is great. If you are concerned about gearing up, of course you're going to want to be doing the Bountiful Delves and using a restored copper key to open the Bountiful Chest at the end of those Delves, ideally on tier 8. So of course, this also respects your time in the fact that getting those keys is actually pretty easy. So of course our first four world activities each week will grant us a key, and you can also pick up some bonus keys along the way from reputation gains at certain levels, or eventually purchase them using resonant crystals. You also get extra ones from copper key shards, which come from some world quests, but also the Raiding Echoes events, which again, is quite quick and can yield quite a lot of copper key shards, potentially netting you from between 1 to 5 keys, maybe even more, if you're super speedy at killing in the Raiding Echoes events. Another nice thing that we found out when the season actually started is that there are the maps that drop that's... They basically give you an extra chest at the end of a delve, so if they drop on a tier 8 delve for example, which again is ideal, they will give you an extra chest the next time you complete a tier 8 delve, which is guaranteed to contain a piece of high level 610 gear on the hero track, so very nice piece of gear potentially coming from that chest. Now the word on the street is that these apparently can drop up to 3 per week. I personally have only gotten one so far after completing around 12 delves at level 8, so they do seem to be a very low drop chance, which is fine because of course it is a nice big piece of gear when you do eventually get one of these chests, just hopefully you don't end up like me and end up getting about 7 cloaks. Not bitter at all. Now there was a bit of a weird interaction because of these maps when these first got discovered, because what people were doing when we were leveling up our delve progression, people recommended doing that on an alt just in case you had a map drop on for example a tier 4 delve, which wouldn't of course get you that 610 piece of gear. So to avoid this, people recommended you log into an alt, level up the delves to tier 8, or as high as you could, and then went back on your main and complete the delves on tier 8, just in case you got one of the maps dropping. Which of course is great if you had an alt that was decently high level geared, but as it turned out, I think for the vast majority of people, myself included, no maps did drop until I started doing tier 8 delves anyway, so potentially a bit of a waste of time doing those initial level up delves on my alt. And you probably found the same as well. So, one of the other best things about Delves is the fact they can be done solo. Now, I know what you're thinking. Delves have been on a bit of a roller coaster ride since launch, with a lot of crazy scaling to tackle and plenty of hotfixes rolled out along the way. It all started initially with Bran having very weird scaling relative to which class he was joining in a Delve, which left some classes with an Uber Bran, who would basically annihilate the Delve for you, while others had a Bran who was about as useful as a Drakthir trying to use a bow. Then, people were leveling Bran to crazy levels, some people even maxed out Bran to level 60 before the season had even started, which was eventually rolled back to level 15 on the 7th of September to kind of level everyone out again. That was followed by even more updates to Bran's uselessness, making him a bit more reliable, less chaotic, and dodgier, apparently. So following that, Delves got tuned a bit themselves, and what was particularly pleasing in these notes is that these spore bits in the fungal Delves got nerfed, as it could kind of live forever, and keep blowing up the delve, so I was very glad to see these little buggers get hit by the nerf hammer, which also made this achievement much easier to complete. So now, this is where the real roller coaster starts. Initially on September the 10th, group delves received a nerf, which seemed a bit bizarre, as this was kind of put out initially as more of a solo content aimed experience. So this absolutely did not go down well with the community at all. 
as most things don't. At the same time, Bran received nerfs, making him a bit less useful and providing less throughput, so kind of a lose-lose here with these two patch notes. An article did then go out by Wowhead stating that delves as a group was still the best way to complete them as it made them almost feel trivial in some scenarios with extra kicks and maybe even a healer in the group, extra CC. Compared to being solo, it was a much smoother experience. So things were kind of backwards at this stage. Blizzard made this big huzzah about this new solo content which was going to give you great gear, which now was incredibly hard to solo and people were of course not happy. There was once again big backlash from the community and with Blizzard continuing to listen to feedback, they did indeed actually respond to this problem four days ago, but not quite in the way you'd expect. They'd lowered the health and damage scaling of the bosses and mobs in group delves, but seemed to not touch solo. Very unusual. These patch notes went out, and as you can imagine, people lost their minds. But then, in a bizarre twist, Blizzard did a sneaky little hotfix, and for some odd reason chose not to announce it, because, you know, it was a kind of a win on their part. The hotfix reduced spell damage in solo delves by 20%, so not too much, but it was of course a welcome change given the state of things. However, the next day, this got increased again by 12.5%, so roughly only a kind of real minor nerf to their damage, by about 10%. Group delves also received a bit of a nerf to enemy damage too, so overall, things were looking a little bit better. Then, almost the last stop on the roller coaster at this point, is that yesterday, Bran got some further tuning that made him more reliable and consistent across the board, and also buffed his health and damage by 125% across all tiers of delves, so a bit of a bonus for everybody there. Now finally, delves received yet another nerf yesterday, specifically solo delves this time. So some bosses and elites had a ton of health, so they saw some pretty hefty nerfs to those numbers, shaving off quite a big portion of the overall health that you had to blast through when solo. So a lovely change, but the question remains, is this the last delve hotfix we will see? Probably not. Now, although this was a bit of a wild ride, the good thing to take from this is that Blizzard are clearly trying to get it right and are listening to feedback. The problem is, of course, you know, these issues come into play after the game has launched, and some people are going to argue this is quite unfortunate, seeing that there was a beta to test these kind of things, but it's you can't argue with the fact that the sheer amount of people in the game currently playing these delves gives Blizzard far more data and stats and feedback than any beta ever will, so these issues become glaringly more apparent as soon as the game does go live. Another thing that I've observed with delves is that as long as you have bountiful keys, doing the daily 4 tier 8 bountiful delves does kind of feel mandatory if you want to give yourself the best shot of gear progression. However, that doesn't have to be the case and you will of course eventually run out of keys as the days after each weekly reset passes by. Personally, what I'm going to do is save some bountiful keys. I've got three currently. I'm going to save those now until I get into the next weekly reset and then I can make sure that I do have eight so that I'm guaranteed to be able to do eight bountiful delves and fill up my vault tier for the week. I am intrigued to see if they stick with this iteration of keys and bountiful delves as a great source of gear going forward and if delves in season two will still reward as good item level as gear as they do in season one comparatively. In summary, I do think delves are a great addition to the game and I am intrigued to see where they take this going forward. For the war within, for example, will we stick with the same delves but receive new stories in those delves as time goes by? Or will we have new delves to complete as the patches go by? Hopefully the latter. With that said though, it is a very nice thing with delves that there are multiple stories to complete within the delves. They do feel a little bit different each time you go in. It keeps things feeling fresher for longer. Also, we know that we are going to get a new delve companion in season two, so Bran will be having a rest for a bit. So who will that be? I'm assuming it has to be someone who makes sense of the story, so perhaps one of the other adventurers from the Explorers League, but there are definitely more exciting and interesting options out there, so we'll have to wait and see. One suggestion that I've seen tossed around is that wouldn't it be cool if we could do delves with our alts, our warband? You could technically just skin the delve companion to be one of our alts and let it have a limited set of abilities based on role, just like Bran does, but it would have the thematic visual flavour of each class and spec. Now of course that would be quite some work for Blizzard to implement, so it is unlikely, but it is indeed a great idea that I would love to see some form of implemented down the line. Now at this point, I haven't even mentioned Zekvay's Lair. Now I did complete Zekvay's Lair on the first question mark tier. Uh, it was around 602 eye level when I did this, playing on Unholy Death Knight. It was a decent challenge. I tried it as blood, first of all. I realised the DPS was a bit slow on the ad, so I changed to Unholy and completed it second time. It was fairly easy. I have yet to try the two question mark tier for Zekvay's Lair, but what I think is great about this is a completely optional decent challenge, just like the Mage Tower was. So. I feel like having these kind of things in game is brilliant and it's something you can keep on going back to. You're probably going to get quite frustrated by it, but as you go again, 
something you're likely to conquer over time, and it'll feel great when you do. So I do appreciate the fact that this challenge is in the game. So there's some initial thoughts on delves. Please let me know what you think, guys. If you could change one thing about delves, what would it be? Let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. I do appreciate your time. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave it a like. Leave us a comment if you've got something to say. And consider subscribing to your channel for more guides and content from World of Warcraft from me, Lazy Beast. Take care, guys. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.